At the start of day two, there were hopes of a challenging total. But at the end of day two, India end up conceding a first innings lead to New Zealand. At stumps on day two, it is advantage New Zealand. Away from the visuals of wind and rain at the end of day one, day two was all sunny as Pant and Rahane came out to take India to a challenging total, save only for a strange half a session of play where first Rahane got Pant run out, the first time Rahane being involved in a run out in a test match, after which the Indian tail failed to wag under the leadership of Ajinkya Rahane. India losing five wickets for just 43 runs and being bundled out for just 165 in the first innings. The third lowest total under Virat Kohli's captaincy for India in the first innings of a test match. The start with the bat for New Zealand was solid. They didn't score as many runs, but they seemed like wanting to fend off the new ball and just take that threat out of the equation. Both Tom Latham and Tom Blundell batting, keeping that in mind. But then Latham edged one down the leg side of Ishan Sharma and he was gone. Blundell and Williamson got to scoring runs again, but Blundell was also removed by Ishant Sharma. India sensed an inlet into the New Zealand batting order, save only for them running into the ever-reliable and the ever-seasoned Williamson-Taylor duo. The two struck together a 93-run partnership and while Taylor couldn't get to his half-century, Ishant Sharma picking him up, there were no worries in the world for Kane Williamson, defending with as much ease as he was driving them away with. Save only for 11 runs short of his own century, Mohammad Shami got him to drive at one and Ravindra Jadeja got him at short extra cover. In the extended session of play, because they'd lost time at the end of day one, New Zealand lost one more wicket in the form of Henry Nichols. At stumps, they had a lead of 51 runs with five wickets in hand still. For the first time in the World Test Championship cycle, Indian bowlers and this ominous Indian bowling attack has been put under pressure. Will they come out and attack? Day 3 has all the answers.